The Husker Online team was out on the West Coast checking in with some of the highly coveted Nebraska targets for the 2017 recruiting class. Our first stop was at Augustus Hawkins High School, right in the heart of Los Angeles, California, where we met up with longtime Arizona four-star cornerback commit Greg Johnson. The Hawks are now 10-0, and Greg's a big reason why. I feel like we're doing good. Um... We working hard every day in practice, uh, basically to get to where we got now. You know, it just you know it just shows that we work, been working hard day in and day out, just getting things done. And me personally, I feel like I'm doing good this year. Uh, I, um, I'm competing at a high level. I feel like a lot of teams been trying to, uh, you know, take shots at me like when I'm at corner and stuff like that. But I feel like that's that's what they're supposed to do is competition. But, yeah, I feel like we're doing good as a team so far. On defense, Greg's a shutdown corner. And on offense, well, he's pretty much unstoppable. But the question is, what position can he do the most damage at at the next level? That's a hard question. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I, I can't really answer that because I like playing offense and also like being on defense. So that's, that's really a hard question to answer. Hawkins, as an up-and-coming program, has made a name for themselves in a very short amount of time. And Johnson has been there from day one as a freshman with a strong work ethic and a will to win. It's just tough days, grinding day in and day out. Like when I was a freshman, I remember, you know, hitting hills and stuff, running up and down the hills, basically trying to, trying to put myself on the map as well as my school. So I've just been grinding just every day, like consistently. And it's, 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 it's paid off, you know what I'm saying? Everybody know about Hawkins now, and most people know about me. So it's really just grinding, a lot of grinding, and it's been paying off, so. Greg committed to Arizona last spring, and he has a very close relationship with the entire coaching staff there. But the Wildcats are having a rough year, so Greg's keeping his options open. He took an official visit to Nebraska three weeks ago for the Purdue game, and he had an eye-opening experience. I felt like it was a good trip. Uh, the people down there is welcoming, as well as the staff, uh, the, the players also. You know, it was a good trip overall. I enjoyed my uh, my little trip out there. It was cool. At the game, all the fans was there. It was packed. The whole stadium was packed. Everybody was cheering on uh, their team. and. Uh, I guess when they scored the first touchdown, I seen all the red balloons flying everywhere. And that was my first time seeing something like that, so it was cool. It was a good experience. His teammate, five-star wide receiver prospect Joseph Lewis, and his coaches had already visited Nebraska, and we asked Greg what they told him to expect when he arrived in Lincoln. They really didn't tell me much what to expect. You know, they just basically told me to keep an open mind. And, you know, I did what they said, and I just experienced a little good trip. So it was cool. The uh, fans there was was great, you know, cheering their team on. And the team got the W out there, too, so it was good. I'm, I, I feel like I'm going to remember that forever because it was my first time being to Nebraska. And, like, it was my first time, so it was, it was a good, it'll, it'll be a good memory. Besides Arizona and Nebraska, Notre Dame is also recruiting Greg heavily. Yeah, I'm, uh, I might take an official um, – when they play against Virginia Tech, I might go up there, check that game out, and just check everything out. I feel like they want me more as a corner, but you know, I'm the type of person that um, I do anything just to help the team win. You know, I'm not like a selfish guy or anything like that. But anything, any, any situation, you know, help me get on the field fast enough, it'll it'll be a factor. And with all the constant attention from college coaches and the media, sometimes the recruiting process isn't easy. But he always has the support from his family, coaches, and teammates. Going to a school where they can help me be better on the field and off the field, um, I just want to go, go somewhere I can uh, get my degree. Um, I just want to you know, basically just be coached up by some of the best, you know, be around good people and just win games. Basically going to a school where they want me, not just me just to just go there, you know. Just go to a school that they, they need me, you know what I mean? They need me, like, you know what I mean? So it's basically that. 
reporting from Augustus Hawkins High School in Los Angeles, California. On behalf of recruiting analyst Nate Klaus, I'm video producer Greg Peterson for HuskerOnline.com.